when I first realized my calling, I became a believer, you can say it like that, but really, we were always in Christ. We were chosen in Christ before the disruption. We just had to come into a realization of our calling and be called, literally, called as members of the body of Christ. But when I first realized, the realization was so powerful and so exciting and so overwhelming that I marveled. I literally marveled. I was astonished at the truths I was receiving, the powerful truths that I was receiving. And I can't explain it. That, that elation, the feeling of jumping up and down in my spirit, within. I didn't have to do it physically, but I did it physically. But within me was just booming and beaming and just like oh, the brightness and the color of it. It was just ridiculous when I first realized my calling. You can't get that back. It's just something that's going to be treasured up for when we receive our new immortal frames. Um, because then we will be in reality the real deal when it comes to who we are. Realizing who we are, that is a marvel in itself. Realizing our calling, that is, an, is a beam, boom. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, but it's just tremendous. And anybody who became a believer and realized their calling had that, and had that just marveling and excitement and elation, understands. Um, I was just so excited because I was never loved on this earth as a kid growing up. And when I seen that God is a God of love, that he loves his whole creation, that he loves every single human being ever created, and that he's going to bring them, he's gonna save them, he's gonna bring them. He did it through his son. It's just a marveling effect. And this is the word I'm gonna bring out today. It's perfect, goes along with the word power, and you look at Marvel and you think, wow, I did this when I became a believer, when I realized my calling. When I realized that I had a place in the body of Christ, that is just so powerful. The concordant definition is simple and straightforward. Wonder and astonishment. Like just, wow. Even the scriptures say, uh, when Christ returns to this earth, the faces will be ablaze at what's coming on the earth. It, it, it's there in Isaiah. I can't remember what passage, but when I saw that passage, I was like, yeah, this is exactly it. They will be astonished. They will marvel. They will just be blah. This is actually happening. The unseen world, the invisible world is being unveiled to us. And they will just look up and they will see what's coming and it just will just drop them. A lot of them will die instantly, <clears throat> I believe. Now the Greek word is thamazo, like trauma. It almost looks like trauma, traumatic from the Greek. The English elements, it's only one English element, it's marble. And it's not no superhero deal. It's not no Marvel comics. I love Marvel movies, but I don't. It has nothing to do with that. It's a reaction. I will call it a reaction to Marvel. In the scriptures, there's a lot of passages concerning when Jesus walked this earth. Even Jesus himself marveled. And it says it in the scripture here. But I think there's only two scriptures or two or three in uh, Paul's letters that I got on this page here so all right the first scripture is Matthew 8 10 now hearing it Jesus marvels and he said to those following verily I am saying to you with no one in Israel so much faith did I find so he marveled Jesus marveled himself Mark 6 6 and he marvels because of their unbelief. And Jesus went about the villages around teaching. Matthew 8, 27. Now the men marvel, saying, What manner of man is this, that the winds as well as the sea are obeying him? 
Matthew 21, 20, and perceiving it, the disciples marvel, saying, How instantly withered is the fig tree. Luke 24, 41, now at their disbelieving, they're still disbelieving for from joy and marveling, he said to them, Have you any food in this place? John 4, 27, and at this his disciples came, and they marveled, and he spoke with a woman, how be it? No one said to him, What art thou seeking? Or what art thou speaking with her? Matthew 9, 33. And the demon being cast out, the mute man speaks. And the throng marvel, saying, Never did it appear thus in Israel. Mark 15, 44. Now Pilate marvels, if he is dead already, and calling the centurion to him, he inquires of him if he died long ago. Mark 5.20, And he came away and begins, begins to herald in the Decapolis whatever Jesus does for him, and all marveled. Luke 9.43, Now all were astonished at the magnificence of God. Now at all, marveling at all which Jesus did, he said to his disciples. John 7.21, Jesus answered and said to them, One act I do, and all of you are marveling. Luke 24, 12. Yet Peter, rising, ran to the tomb, and peering in, is observing and the swathings only. And he came away, marveling to himself at that which he has occurred. John 3, 7. You should not be marveling that I said to you, You must be begotten anew. And that is a whole nation of Israel. He was speaking to Nicodemus there. John 5.20, For the Father is fond of the Son, and is showing him all that he is doing, and greater works than these shall he be showing him, that you may be marveling. Acts 7.31, Now Moses, perceiving it, marvels at the vision, yet it is appearing, it, yet at his approaching, to consider it, the voice of the Lord came. Acts 13.41, Perceive you despisers and marvel and disappear for a work am i working in your days a work which you should by no means be believing if anyone should be detailing it to you first john three thirteen, marvel not brethren if the world is hating you galatians 1 6 i am marveling that thus swiftly you are transferred from that which you which calls you in the grace of Christ to a different evangel. Second Thessalonians 1.10 And whenever he may be coming to be glorified in his saints and to be marveled at in all who believe, seeing that our testimony to you was believed in that day. Jude 16 These are murmurers, complainers, going according to their own desires, and their mouth is speaking pompous things, marveling at the aspect of things on behalf of benefit. Unveiling 17, 6 through 8, And I perceived the woman, drunk with the blood of the saints, and with the blood of the witnesses of Jesus. And I marvel at perceiving her. The marvel is great. And the messenger said to me, Wherefore do you marvel? I shall be declaring to you the secret of the woman and of the wild beast which is bearing her, which has the seven heads and the, and the ten horns. The wild beast which you perceive was and is not, and is about to be ascending out of the submerged chaos and to be going away into destruction. And marvel shall those dwelling on the earth, whose names are not written in the, on the scroll of life, from the disruption of the world, when they observe the wild beast, seeing that it was and is not and will be present.